I'm going to report that nobody is here. Hi, teacher. Hey, good evening. Hi, Eric. Good evening, teacher. Oh, how are you? Good. Just getting home, and you? Uh, sorry? Just getting home, and you? Mm. Me too. Really? Uh, no, I Sí, pero ahorita me acaban de dar ahí una mala noticia. ¿Really? Sí, este, tengo, hay un compañero de trabajo que, este, ya, señor, va, y cuando a mí me pasó el accidente el año pasado, uh -huh. eh, fue el siguiente día que yo estaba aquí en la casa, uh -huh. fue de los primeros que me habló, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. estaba pendiente ahí de mí, toda onda bien. Bien uh -huh. buena onda, señor. Uy, ahí acaba de morir hace una hora de, ah, de COVID. De COVID, ah. Sí. Ay, hicimos una bonita amistad con el señor. Y, y todavía me, me mandó unos audios hace como tres semanas. Ajá. No, hace, hace un mes. Y una semana después lo había ingresado. Uy, que, créame que... ¿Y será que no estaba vacunado? Pues, no, ya estaba vacunado, porque inclusive, este, eh, estuvimos, estuvimos tocando el tema, ¿no? estuvimos uh -huh. tocando el tema, y, y sí, ya estaba vacunado, porque estábamos fregando ahí que nos teníamos que poner la vacuna los dos, ¿no? uh -huh. pero es que él tenía, él tenía varios problemas también de salud, ¿no? Ajá, lo tenían ajá. que operar de la, de la, yo lo estaba bregando porque le iban a operar el, de la cabeza del fémur, le iban a poner una prótesis porque te, te patojeaba, ajá. y yo le dije, ya no lo pueden ver patojo a uno, le digo yo así, porque ya quieren andar copiando, y él va a reírse, ajá. Entonces, uy, pero bien yuca, bien yuca, no. créanme que me acaban de, ahorita Cinco minutos me acaban de dar la noticia. Sí, eso sí, ya. Uy. Ah, complicado. Sí, la verdad que sí. Y es una, una persona que bien, bien querida por todos. Mm. Bien querida por todos. Ajá. Oh, pero, ah, pero. Es la vida. Así es la vida. A veces uno se queda, a veces uno se queda preguntando. O sea, cómo pasó la y, o qué pasó. Y a veces uno dice, ah, pero anoche estuvimos hablando, o ayer lo vi, o esta mañana lo vi. Ya, me es que andan. Así. Ya. Ya. No, bien, bien complicado realmente. Uh -huh. y, y así, pues, se ve que tengo otro compañero de trabajo que, que no, no sabemos nada de la ahorita. Ah, bueno, tengo... no sabemos tengo... nada. Uh -huh. ah, bien, está, está, está pero no sé, no sé si es que de verdad las personas están bajando la guardia con respecto al virus, porque sí veo que últimamente están saliendo bastantes infectados. A la sí. a la, a la. Inclusive sí. personas que, inclusive personas que en la pandemia, o sea, se supone que fueron a fueron invictos, por así decirlo, que nunca se infectaron. Y ahora they, they are infected. I mean, that's horrible sometimes. Sí, por ejemplo, eh, bueno, yo a mí, por ser hipertenso, ya me toca la, la tercera dosis, ya me ya la tengo habilitada, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Y porque en febrero me dio un infarto también, entonces por esas cosas me han catalogado como, como de alto riesgo. 
pero este, eh, ya me toca la tercera dosis, pero como uh -huh. tenemos que esperar unos días porque este compañero que se, se ha perdido, no sabemos si está con COVID o qué, uh -huh. entonces si yo me la pongo y no se me ha desarrollado el virus, me va a explotar con todo al ponérmelo. Uh, yes. Así que yo estoy esperando, ya quizás el, ya el lunes me la voy a ir a poner, si sí, uh -huh. sí no pasa más, va. Ajá, yo creo que ajá. no, si yo me cansado me siento, o sea, de, de tanto trabajo, pero de ahí nada más. Pa. Pero no físicamente, ajá, ajá. Sí. No, 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 cansancio mental, mental así. Por ejemplo, mañana paso en reunión, tengo dos reuniones seguidas de ocho a nueve y media y tengo de diez a doce. Oh my God, God. Entonces, eh, y de ahí tengo que estar a las dos de la tarde en escalón. Así que, y voy a estar, voy a estar en la mañana en el y luego en la tarde el calor, imagínense. That's a lot of work. You have to move from one place to another. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of difficult. Eh, pero, pero ahí vamos, hay que echarle ganas. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. So, what happened to the other people? ¿Qué pasa con los demás? Tienen toda la cámara apagada. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, a ver. How are you? How are you? Everything Good. okay? Yeah, I mean, everything okay. Here, just ready you know, to, to, to start the class. Present. <laughs> no, we haven't, we haven't started with the attendance list. We were like, uh, you know, talking with Eric and with these people that they don't uh, turn on the camera. Let me see. We got, ah, we got Margot in here. Hi, Margot. You there? Let's see if they are. Hi, teacher. How are you, Margot? Hi. Aquí uh, enferma. Really? Sí. Sí, estoy aquí con temperatura y solo estoy escuchando um, con dolor de cabeza. Ni modo. A ver. Sí. A ver si sigo mejor mañana. Oh, I'm sorry, Margot. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are suffering from that nowadays. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I even had some, some, some co-workers that way. I mean, they got a headache, they got a stomach ache, they got like, you know, like body pain and everything. And most of them is because they, they went yesterday to have the shot, the third, uh, the third shot. So supposedly the shot, uh, the third one got some effects. Let's see. I, I think it depends on the, on the person, right? But let's see on you and, 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 and when I take the horn, I like to go there. But let's see what's up. Okay. So let's see. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Who else is? Ah, Jonathan. Hi. So what's up with uh, Carla, Ruth, Vanessa, Jennifer? Why don't you turn on your cameras? Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. I am driving. Ah, you're your way home? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, you drive safely. Okay, so let's see. Let's just start because we have a, we got a lot of information to share today. We got some uh, exercises to do besides, you know, like what we have, uh, like checked yesterday. So let's just start with the attendance list. Because as I told you, we got a lot of things to do tonight. So let's start with Anna Claribel. It is not here, right? All right, Ana Maria, neither. Let me see, Carlos Ademir, no here, Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay, good. Fatima Alejandra. Uh, she's not here. Hilmar Cruz. It is not here. Jonathan Alexander. Present. No, okay, good. Jorge Elber. 
She's not here right now. Okay. Carla Benacer. Present teacher. No, okay, good. Margot Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Maritza Alcira. Oh, Maritza is not here. Okay. Let's move on. We got Natalie Vanessa. She's not here. Romeo Alexis. It is not here. Rosa del Carmen. Okay, good. Let's continue. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Ah, oh, okay. Very good. Sara Carolina. It is not here. Stephanie Lisette is not here. Come on, what happened to all these people? Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. William Alberto, it is not here. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, Nubia Zulema. No, it's just not here. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. All right, she's not here, right? Excuse okay. me, teacher. <laughs> All right, nice. Now you're coming, but I have already I have already passed the sentence list, so let me look for it. Yeah, I mean you're no longer on time. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Okay, so let's start with the things that we're gonna be discussing tonight. Just give me a second. I'm gonna place this thing. Okay, it's this one. All right, it's this way. Okay, there you go. All right, give me a second. I got some issues with this thing. Give me a second. Ah, this is the bad thing of having a no computer. <laughs> ah, it's this way. Okay. Let's share it. Hi. Hey, hi, Novia. Finally. Como que se tarda mucho <laughs> la, 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 la computadora. Es que... Sí, no sé por qué me cuesta. Creo que le necesito mandarle a dar una limpia. Puede ser o puede ser que es que esté muy lleno el eh, ya el disco duro y la memoria RAM ya, ya esté saturada o I don't know. Uh, ahí quién puede. Helmer, what happened in that case? When a computer runs slow. Eh, podría ser. Eh, the hard disk might be might be full. Probably. Probably, right? Or probably uh Noia has a lot of documents, or probably you got a virus. Huh. Yeah, because a virus may, may 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 do damage, may cause damage also. Or uh, sometimes the it's it's when the computer starts uh updating itself. Cuando la computadora también comienza a actualizarse. Eh, eh, el Windows a veces eso, eso sucede o oh, cuando no está actualizada ah, that's the web page horrible. With, with the spam I mean uh -huh, there's another one a web page with uh, the, spam. the process and, and second plane or plane second uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah I mean that's, that's, that's another thing that's true Sobre todo si es well from, a veces está abierto sin que, sin que nos demos cuenta. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They are no le pagan un anuncio ahí de, de fútbol, de ropa, de inversiones en la bolsa. ¿No le parecen de repente? No. Creo que no. Es, un, es un clásico. Sí. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, yeah, I mean, I used to have that problem. Uh -huh. But I eliminated all those things, all those things. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? The, that's the funny part. The funny part is that eh, pausé, las pausé las actualizaciones automáticas porque, I mean, that was horrible sometimes. A veces eh, me causaban problemas el estar actualizando, and, you know, like working and everything. Las pausé como por un mes, like a month or something like that. And you know what? Cuando precisamente tenía que usar la computadora, el día precisamente que tenía que usar más la computadora, boom. Actualizaciones necesitan descargarse en bla, 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 bla. In, in, in the computer didn't let me to do anything. No me dejo hacer nada. And you know, duró como cinco horas. <laughs> oh my God. I know. I know. That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> Teacher, ahí le ahí le acaban de mandar saludos. Uh. Mm, Salvatore. Ah. Ahí me ahí me acaba de hablar por lo mismo. Ah, entonces. Ah. Pero sí. Así que me dijo ahí me lo saludas. Nah, okay, okay. Y a mí no me mandó saludos, Eric. Dígale que está recibido. Sí, también. Sí, también. <laughs> ok, ok. There you go. Let's start, people. Let's start. Check this out. So, uh, this is the video conference 11. Let's remember. Uh, today, we're going to have two different topics into one single class. Today's topics are listen up, how to use past of B and simple past affirmative. Okay, when we use affirmative statement. But we are going to separate these two structures because despite they mean that they are in simple past, okay? Because they, despite, as I told you, they, they uh, act, okay, like something in simple past, it means that we can put it separated, okay? We're gonna separate it because the use of B is, Uh, like in a somehow kind of different when we use a normal verb that indicates an action. So we're gonna see that. And let's just start with a little bit um, talking or, or seeing in this case, what is like the most remarkable things that we're gonna be discussing tonight. We're gonna do a general review from the things that we were working yesterday, okay? We were like, you know, working in different things, different activities, right? Uh, then we're gonna start off with the simple pass of B. Then we're gonna have provided uh, some examples. We're gonna provide some examples. Right after the examples, we're gonna start the simple pass activity statements, you know, like affirmative statement in this case. We are not going to do the negative statement, only affirmative uh, examples. And right after that, we, we are going to do some exercises, okay? And right after the exercises, we're going to be working in the manual to finish some activities that we have there. So that's pretty much what we have. But before that, if you can open up, listen up, if you can open up your manual, all right, in page 29, if I'm not wrong, you will find out these vocabulary verbs that we are going to be discussing, okay, in this slide. And this is a series of verbs that we need, you know, to get to know, to get practice with it, or, or with them in this case, and we need them to, you know, like review. The first verb that we got in here is pick up, but in this case, it's a phrase pick up the phone, all right? Uh, para muchos de ustedes, eh, este verbo es un tanto conocido, no tanto como un verbo, sino como eh, se les suele llamar a los a, a ciertos carros, pero pick up, right? Pero en este caso, hasta no como un verbo, listen. En este caso, in this case, we're going to be talking about this verb because it has few different meanings, porque tiene dos significados, ok, 
El primero es recoger algo del suelo. ¿Ok? Take something from the ground. Levantar algo. ¿Ok? And in this case, like pick up the phone is like levantar el, el teléfono, right? Like to grab the phone and, 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 and left it. Otro significado que tiene pick up, listen up, is básicamente recoger a una persona en cierto lugar, okay? Like for example, you can say, I pick up my, my children in the school. Ah, yo recojo mis hijos en la escuela, okay? Or, or the supermarket or whatever, or whatever you want to say. So pick up is ir a recoger a un lugar también, right? People in this case. So then we're going to have, uh, let's see if you understand this part. Understand, okay? I think everybody in here knows the meaning of this verb. Creo que todos acá uh, conocemos el, el significado de este verbo. Understand. So let's skip it and let's move. Then we have the verb explain. Okay. Explain. Then we have the verb. Uh, Ever, help me reading this verb. Uh, next to understand. Uh, the last, the last one, the last one. Complain. Complain. Okay, and what is complain, Ever? I don't know, teacher. Ah. This, this is my act for you. Complain. Complain is actually quejarse or poner una queja. Right? About something. That's complain. For example, I complain about the fact that there are a lot of people that turn on the cameras in this class, right? I can use the verb in that way. But let's remember, this is just the base form of these verbs. Then we got the verb help. Does everybody know what is help in this case? I think everybody knows it, right? When to use it. Uh, <laughs> Right after help, we got request information. Request information. Listen up. What is request information, people? Solicitar information. There you go. Solicitar information. That is basically request information. Okay. Right after that, we got an extra one that says get prices. Get prices. What is that? What do you mean by get prices? Obtener precios. There you go. That's like obtener precios. Exactly. Okay. That is get prices. Okay, besides these verbs, we got another series of verbs. Let me check them in here. Okay, then we have, listen up, provide one's information. Provide one's information. What does provide one's information mean? Ah, it means when you give your information to the store or whatever you want to buy something, okay? Proveer la información propia o de información de uno. Then we have an extra verb. We got the verb assist. Listen up, assist. That's the verb. Que significa asistir. Then we got the verb by, and I think everybody knows this verb. Creo que todos acá conocemos este verbo, right? Assess. And then we have by, okay. Right after by, we have call, okay? 
Like when you grab your phone, build a number and then call. Okay, right after call, we got the verb receive. Check that out, receive. Okay, Nubia, what is the receive in this case? Recibir. Recibir? Are you sure, Nubia? No. Why not? No. Are you sure? Estás segura? <coughs> no, teacher. Why not, Novia? Yes, receive means recibir. Ah, ok. <laughs> Está jugando con mi, mi memoria, teacher. Why? No, yo no, yo necesito <laughs> que esté segura de la respuesta que usted da. I mean, it, no es que, ah, is that correct? Y dice, no. Have to trust in yourself. Tiene que confiar okay. más. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these verbs are like the most common ones that we have been discussing in the past. Digamos que estos son los verbos más, algunos de ellos más comunes que hemos estado practicando, okay, throughout this module. And some of them that might be a known for you, y algunos de ellos, pues, pueden ser un tanto desconocidos para ustedes, okay. But what are we gonna do with these verbs? We're gonna do a practice later on. So let's keep it. Así que vamos a tenerlo, okay? So right after these verbs, okay, let's continue with the things that we have for tonight. The past of B. Check that out. When we talk about the past of B, when it comes to your mind, Cuando ustedes escuchan la forma pasada del verbo to be, ¿qué se, a qué, qué, ¿qué se les viene a la mente? Ya hemos visto las formas presentes del verbo to be. Y de hecho, el verbo to be, si recordamos, es uno de los verbos más irregulares que existe en inglés. Por sí solos, el verbo to be tiene ocho formas diferentes. Ocho. Ok, todas son para diferentes uh, estructuras gramaticales. But in this case, in this case, ok, we have finished in the past uh, practicing, you know, like the simple present form of B in the form of am, um, is, and are. Ok, that's the form of the verb B in simple present. Am, um, is, and are. But what happened in simple past? In simple past, they got two different meanings. And those meanings are was and were. Those are the two meanings of be in simple past. Take a look at this. Right? Uh, let me see. Let me see who can help me out. Romeo, can you please read this? Short definition of uh, the path of B. Okay. Uh, the path for of B is divided into was and where. Ah, okay. Was and where. Okay, listen. The past form of B is divided in two. It was and it is where. Okay. Remember, it is was and where. Was and where. Those are both. We got some examples in here. William, tell me a reading the first example. Okay. I was an employee in the in that company. Ah, uh, okay. Very good. I was an employee in that company. Remember, was, what does was mean in this case? Recordemos, was and where tienen dos significados. En este caso es ser o estar, pero en pasado simple, en simple past, ok? Ser o estar. So, I was an employee in that company. Ah, sí, un empleado en esta compañía. 
Okay. Then we got Fatima, help me reading. You were in the store yesterday. Ah, okay. You were in the store yesterday. What does it mean in this case? En este caso, con este ejemplo que estamos proveyendo, ah, estamos proveyendo una dirección. En este caso, para hablar así de una manera general, sería location. We are referring about a location. Why a location? Porque en este caso mencionamos el lugar donde nos encontramos, o hacia dónde vamos, o uh, hacia dónde fuimos, que es el pasado simple. Ok? Referring to a location. Example. I was in my work two hours ago. Ah, estaba en mi trabajo hace dos horas. Okay. Two hours ago. So in that case, it's when we use the simple past of B. Let's got another example. Then we got uh, Hilmar to help me out. The last one? Yeah, the last one. Okay. He was in the park last week. He was in the park last week. Okay, what does it mean? He was in the park last week. You are showing a location about one activity. Okay. You are showing a location or something like that. Entonces acá lo que hacemos es estar mostrando una ubicación. Una locación. ¿Cómo así? Ah, porque dice la oración. He was in the park last week. Él estaba en el parque la semana pasada. Ok. So, in that case, we are expressing what? We are expressing something in simple past. Y estamos hablando ahí de expresar algo en pasado simple. Usando el verbo to be. Ok. In this case, we got to pay attention with the use of pronouns. En este caso tenemos que prestar mucha atención o tener mucho cuidado con el uso de los pronombres, porque no todos se usan con was o no todos se usan con where. There is a variety, ¿ok? En este caso ya vamos a ver un poco más adelante. Let me check. Ok, we got an extra example. Sara, tell me a reading this example. We were... Excited about the trip. Aha, uh -huh. we were excited about the trip. About the trip. Okay, we were excited about the trip. What does it mean? What does the word excited mean? ¿Qué significa la palabra excited? Have you ever heard that word before? Okay, excited. It's like an emotion. Exactly, is extremely happy, emocionado. Okay, that's the way how it works in there. Emocionado. We were excited about the trip. Ah, estábamos emocionados por el viaje. Okay, in this case, a pesar de que vaya con ED, listen, a pesar de que vaya con ED, ese es un adjetivo. La palabra excited es un adjetivo. ¿Para qué sirven los adjetivos? Ah, to describe people, para describir personas. Ok. Good. Let's see a little bit how, how we got this as example. And here we got some other examples. Uh, Jorge, help me a reading. What is using with an, he, she, it, and singular nouns? All right. He says, listen, the pass of B was is used with I, he, she, it, and singular nouns. These are the pronouns that we can use. Okay, was, the verb was, 
example. Uh, I was a teacher. What does it mean in this case? I was a teacher. Era un profesor. Okay. That is the meaning of that. Era un profesor. I was a teacher. All right. Second example. Give him a second. I don't know what's happening. There you go. Second example. Let's see. Ruth, tell me in the second example. Uh, I I was a teacher. I was a teacher. Are you sure? Now the second one. The second one. Uh, he was happy yesterday. Ah, okay, very good. He was happy yesterday. What does it mean? Probably today that person is not happy anymore. Probably that person is like ah, uh, sad, sleepy, like me right now. Okay, or some kinds of emotion, extra emotions. But yesterday that person was sad. See, that's what it means. He was. Happy yesterday. Ah, él estaba feliz ayer. He was happy yesterday. There you go. We got a, another example in check. Yes, we got Jonathan. Let's read. She was bored. She was bored. Okay, what does it mean, poor Jonathan? Exactly, right? She was bored. Ah, ella estaba aburrida. Okay. En este caso, ¿cuál es la función principal del verbo to be? Ah, mencionar estar, pero en pasado. De estaba. Okay. Let me check if I have another one. Yes, it is. And for this, I want Rosa to help me out. It was interesting to have a new job. Ah, okay, very good. It was interesting to have a new job, right? Listen up. How do you interpret this example? ¿Cómo interpretamos este ejemplo? You got it? Era interesante tener un trabajo nuevo. Check that out. That's a simple pass, right? That's a simple fast way. Okay, we got the last example. All right, and it says, uh, let's see what it says, Carlos. Help me a reading, please. Uh, Maria was in the party last week. Ah, Maria was in the party last week. Okay. Thank you. So in that case, we are showing a past event, okay, about something that started in the past and finished in the past. Básicamente aquí lo que hablamos es sobre una actividad, okay, about an activity that in this case, listen, in this case, la actividad comenzó en el pasado y terminó en el pasado y ahora en presente ya no tiene relevancia. That is the simple past form of be about, okay? Now, let's see if I have another one. No, this is, this is the one, okay? This is the one. Okay, how to interpret this one? Let's remember, we use was for third person singular, okay? Cuando usamos was, recordemos, para mencionar I, he, she, it, and singular nouns. Cuando me refiero a singular nouns, es un nombre propio, ya sea de una persona, animal, or object. Example. Fatima was in her work two hours ago. Ah, Fatima estaba en su trabajo hace dos horas. 
So you see, so we use was. ¿Por qué usamos was? Porque solo nos referimos a una persona. Ok. And that's it. And that's it. All right. I don't know if we got any question up to now. No sé si está acá, tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta. Al menos con el uso del was. Ya vamos a ver el uso del where. Do you have any question? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? Eric, Ever, Carla, Germa, Nubia, Roxana, Sara, Alejandra, Fátima, Jonathan. Are we okay with this? ¿Estamos claros acá? No, okay. How about the rest? ¿Qué tal el resto? Me, okay. Uh, okay, good. No question. No question? For, for the moment, no question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. For the moment, no question. There you go. Entonces, quiero saber si en verdad hemos... Listen up. Hemos captado la idea de cuándo usar was. Ok, ¿qué quiero que me hagan? Vamos a hacer un ejemplo. Vamos a hacer dos ejemplos. Listen. Uno aplicado a ustedes mismos, to yourself. Y el segundo lo vamos a hacer aplicado a una tercera persona. Puede ser he o she. Ok, it's up to you. Pero en este caso vamos a hacer una en primera persona, una en tercera. So let's see what's up. When you finish the example, let me know. Just let me know as soon as you finish the example, okay? Let me know if you need help. Jennifer, Rosa, Carlos, Vanessa, Margot, William, Ruth, Jorge, Sara, are you doing the exercises? Estamos haciendo los ejercicios? Yes. Yes. I, I need, uh, in this moment, yeah, uh, number one is done. Okay, very good. Now I was, continue. I was, I was by pupusa yesterday. Mm. <laughs> it's not correct. Listen, maybe. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Generalmente, cuando usamos el verbo to be, ya okay. en el verbo to be no necesitamos de un verbo adicional. Porque entonces ya la estructura nos va a cambiar a otra estructura que no es precisamente la forma pasada del verbo to be. Entonces, ¿qué necesitamos en ese tipo de casos? No necesitamos un verbo extra porque el verbo to be actúa como verbo. Necesitamos, listen, necesitamos adjetivos y nombres que complementen una oración. ¿Cómo así? Como las oraciones que tengo acá. Listen. He was happy yesterday. Ah, él estaba feliz ayer. O él estaba feliz ayer. So you see, en este caso, no necesito de ningún otro verbo. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque happy en este caso es feliz. All right? That's like a miracle and everything. But in this case, okay. remember, uh, remember, teacher. we don't use uh, nouns. I mean, we don't use verbs. Uh -huh. Ok. And the In this case, and uh, change maybe bite for another, another. Bite for another? Yes. Now, listen, listen, listen. The only way you can use, the only way you can use uh, B is using this way. En ese caso, simplemente lo que podemos hacer es mencionar el lugar. Check this out. He was in the Pupusa store last night. 
check this out. So in this one, I got was. ¿Por qué tengo oh, okay, was? Okay. ¿Por qué tengo was? Ah, porque recordemos que was va con I, he, he she, it, and it. singular noun. Exactly. Okay. Entonces acá si la desglosamos gramaticalmente hablando, este es un subject o pronoun, la forma del verbo to be, y luego dice in the pupusa store last night. Ah, él estaba en la pupusería anoche. Ok. okay. Entonces, es lo que podemos hacer. That's the way. Ok. Good. Sin mencionar otro verbo. Do you finish, people? ¿Terminamos el resto? Ok. okay. Yeah. Perfect. Let's start reading the examples. Carla, help me reading your example, please. Okay, teacher. And the first person, I was uh, very happy. I was very happy. Yes. <laughs> okay. And how do you feel yeah. now? You're not happy? <laughs> and la siguiente, tercera persona, teacher. Um, she was a model last year. He was. He was a model last last year. Ah, okay. He was a model last year. Okay, very good. Okay. Yeah, in that case, we can use them. There you go. Gilmar, let's read yours. <laughs> you think? You think? I was a good cyclist. I was a good cyclist. Now you are not. <laughs> Ahora ya no. <laughs> Ahora ya no. Okay, there you go. Ah, uh, ajá, ajá, ajá. She was very special to me. Ooh, she was very special to you. Okay, there you go. There you go, pero igual así lo dejaron. <laughs> I'm kidding, Hilmar. There you go. Thank you, Hilmar. Now, Fatima, do you have your examples? Um, I was in the house of my grandfather last weekend. Repeat again, Fatima. I was in the house of my grandfather last weekend. Yeah. Ah, okay, very good. All right. Last the second is Tanya was sick yesterday. Okay, very good. Like Tanya was sick yesterday. That's great. Thank you, Fatima. Jonathan, read your example. Uh, I was an uh, operator, an operator, an operator machine. Ah, okay. All right. Very good. She was, she was angry at night. <laughs> she was angry last night. Okay. Or she was angry last night. There you go. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, Romeo, read your examples. Okay. Uh, I was, I was, uh, didn't you? I was a teenager. Ah, okay. I was a teenager. Okay. okay. Era un adolescente. Uh, she was sleeping in the chair. Okay. La estructura, Romeo, está correcta. Solo que la estructura ya de la... Oh, listen, listen. Ya no es simple past. Usando B. Ya esa estructura se convierte en pasado continuo. Porque dice, she was sleeping. Entonces, el verbo sleep me obliga a mí a colocarlo en ING. Entonces, ahí ya no es pasado simple del verbo to be. Entonces, what, what, what is the role that takes in there the verb? Listen. If it is not the past form of B, it is the past continuous tense. 
Entonces ahí ya creamos otra estructura, Romeo, que es el pasado continuo. Aquí, para no crear un pasado continuo, es que no tenemos que escribir un verbo adicional. Usted ah, mencionaba. Supongamos que me... ¿Cómo, cómo me había mencionado? Romeo, let's read again. Yeah, pues, she was sleeping in the chair. She was sleeping in the yard. She was sleeping in the yard. Entonces, acá este verbo que va con ing me da la pauta a mí para identificar que toda la estructura se le conoce como pasado continuo o pasado progresivo. Entonces, ¿qué debemos de hacer? Eliminar el verbo adicional en la C. She was in the yard. And you're referring, of course, to a location. Y aquí pues ya nos estamos refiriendo a una locación. Ok. Locación. Pero ¿qué no debemos de hacer? Ah, no debemos de colocar un segundo verbo. Ok. No debemos de colocar un segundo verbo a la oración principal. Te digo. No importa la posición de no, o sea, siempre no tiene que llevar verbo. No importa que vaya al final. No importa que vaya al final, ¿qué? El verbo. ¿El verbo que vi? No, llamo un verbo cualquiera. Uh -huh. No tiene que llevar verbo. No, en ese caso lo que tiene que llevar es adjetivos. Ok. Puede llevar verbos, pero cuando ya indicamos una, una, una reacción en cadena. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, I was happy to see you. Estaba feliz de verte. I was happy to see you. ¿Por qué en ese caso sí se puede? Porque después de was no llevo un verbo. ¿Ok? ¿Llevo qué? Un adjetivo. An adjective. ¿Ok? Ah, yeah. Y en el, en el caso, yo hice una que dice, she was very hungry. Ah, ok. ¿Está bien to... así? Yes, of course. Ok. Sí, lo está. There you go. Ok. Actually, let's read the second one, uh, Rosa. Lea la otra para aprovechar. Es que la otra está mala. I was working all day. Eso se está mala, ¿verdad? Yes, modify it. Modifíquela, ¿ok? Ok. All right. En ese caso, el verbo principal, elimíneselo. There you go. Now, uh, let me see. Carla, did you participate already? Yeah, right. Ok. And Hilmar too. Now, Fatima, we got Jonathan. Fatima, did you participate already? I got the quadriculas have a mistake in there. Ok, Jorge, let's do it. Hello. <laughs> you did it already? Es que se me han movido todas las cuadrículas. Ah. I hate when that happens. I am participating first. Yeah, I am. Yes, yes. Give me a second. <laughs> este Zoom está medio extraño. Give me a second. Ah, okay. I got it already. Ahora sí. Ahí está. Okay, Sara. Um, okay, teacher. Uh, I was tired yesterday. Okay, I was tired yesterday. Yeah, Second example. Uh, she was beautiful. She was uh -huh. beautiful. Ah, she was beautiful. Now she's not beautiful. Okay. Okay. Okay, good, Sarah. Thank you. William, let's read your examples. Okay. It, it was rain. Ah, en este caso, William, por el verbo rain, no podemos colocarlo así. Porque entonces sería pasado continuo o pasado progresivo. Pero sí podemos poner otro, otro 
vocabulario relacionado al clima. Por ejemplo, it was cold. Estaba frío. It was hot. It was windy. It was fog. So you see, all of them, you can put them. Entonces, todos los demás relacionados al clima lo puede poner a excepción de rain. The, 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 the word rain is... That's a verb, actually. It's verb. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, I was angry. Okay. I was hungry. Or I was angry. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the second okay. example? Okay. Um, the pilot mm -hmm. was in the plane. Now, okay. Very good. The pilot was in the plane. Thank you, William. Okay. Okay. Rosanna? Let's read your example, Rosanna. Rosana, you get the microphone off. Lo siento. I was going to run in the morning. I was going to run. Yes. Uh, no. Porque llevamos doble verbo. Ah, de hecho, triple. I was going to run. En ese caso, Roxana. Is, 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 is just an adjective, what you need. En ese caso, lo único que vamos a colocar ahí es un adjetivo para describir algo, ya sea un lugar, una persona, ¿ok? Describir uh, la locación en donde estamos, the location that we are in at the moment, ¿ok? Pero en este caso no podemos colocar un verbo extra porque entonces la estructura cambia, ¿ok? The structure changes. Uh, yes. Lo voy a arreglar. Ajá, ok. Le voy a leer la otra. Mm -hmm. He was to work very early. También, es de arreglarla. Read it again. He was to work very early. Él salía a trabajar muy temprano. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Vale, la voy a arreglar, dice. Ok. Recuerden, no incluir otro verbo, ok. Solamente was, all right, and that's it. And then you can put an, uh, an adjective. Y luego okay. podemos colocar un adjetivo para describir o generar okay, descripción. All right, Bye. thank you, Roxana. Now, Vanessa. Vanessa, are you here? Yes, teacher. Um, a ver. He was a study last week. No, so so. That is past progressive. <laughs> Ese es pasado progresivo. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. It's like. Okay, he teacher. was studying. You have it like this. Y acá, listen, acá. No podemos colocar el estar en. Why not? Porque este es un verbo principal. Entonces, como actúa como ing, acá ya no es pasado simple del verbo to be, sino que básicamente se convierte en un pasado progresivo, que ya esa es una estructura completamente diferente. Ok, Vanessa, ¿qué se necesitamos hacer ahí? Ah, modificar el verbo. O básicamente eliminar el verbo y quedarnos con adjetivos. Ok. There you go. Read the second example that you have. Mm. She was tired. She was? She was tired. No, nah, ok. Good. Ok. There you go, modify that one, okay? Modifique eso. Okay, teacher. Nice. Ah, uh, let's see. Ruth? 
Can you read your example, please? Yes, teacher. Um, what is that? Right now, right now. Okay. I was uh, secretary. She was, but with children. He was mechanic yesterday. She was a mechanic yesterday. Okay. Okay. Only for one day. <laughs> like I do. There you go. Nice. Yeah, but, but never do what I do, pero nunca haga lo que hago. Okay. Yo me creo mecánico y siempre termino arruinando las cosas. Que antes trabajaba y luego cuando ya las desarmo y las armo, no funciona. <laughs> They don't for none. So sad. Okay, good. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, let me see who else is missing. La lista. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm about to finish this and then I'm going to pass the attendance. Please. Thank you for reminding me. Is it nine already? Yes, I'm not ready. Teacher. Jesus Christ. So Teacher. Yes. Ya la arreglé. Okay, read it. I was a short day. I was? A short day. I was a the last word. I don't listen to the last word, uh, Rosa. I was a short day. Ah, ah, ah. No, en ese caso, Rosa, no es I was. I have. No. En ese caso, como se refiere a un día, nosotros decimos it was a short day. Oh, okay. Yes. Fue un día corto. Ok. So, in that case, okay, we can not use I, we can use it. There you go. Thank you, Rosa. Let me check who else is online. Carlos, help me out with your answer. I was in the office yesterday. Ah, okay. I was in the office yesterday. And the second one? Victoria was at the movies last night. Ah, okay, very good. Victoria was at the movie last night. Thank you, Carlo. Now, Jennifer. Okay. Uh, I was sick yesterday. I didn't listen, Jennifer. Can you please repeat it again? I was sick yesterday. Ah, okay. Now I listen to you. I was sick yesterday. Now you feel better. Okay, good. Now, the third person example. My brother was sad because the his cat died. Ah, My brother. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is okay. Thank okay. you. All right. I will be sad too. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jennifer. Let me see who else is missing. Okay, uh, Ana Maria. Ana Maria, are you there? Todavía no estoy. Why not? <laughs> Porque, mire, mire. Es que no entendía eso. Por ejemplo, yo he hecho una. I was meeting yesterday. Así está bien. No. I was. I was. In, I my, was. Listen, 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 Ana María. I was in the meeting yesterday. That would be correct. In. Ah, solo me hacía falta in. Yes. Vaya, pero estaba prácticamente de fondo o estaba bien. Ah, pero la otra algo. y una más de si, mire esta que dice he was my laptop yesterday él fue mi laptop ayer no yo tuve pero para tener para poner <risa> tener no se puede poner no ayer donde estaba mi error Ajá. yeah because remember recordemos que el verbo to be solo significa ser o estar ok Ajá. So let's give it that way. Entonces, 
Busquémosle por ese lado entonces, Ana María. Okay? Let's modify Bye. that example. Bye. There you go. Luego Ok, ¿qué es Rosana? I was a secretary. Ok, very good. You were a secretary. Nice. Rogelio was think. Was? Think. Nah, was thin. Delgado? Delgado. Ah, ok. <laughs> It's like me. Two, two, two years ago. I was thin. Oh my God. And now, now it's not that much. Yeah, I mean, I used, I used to weigh 155 pounds. You know what is my weight now? My weight is 208 pounds. I mean, that's a lot. That's a, a huge change. All right. Now, I know some people are missing right now, but I'm going to stop a little bit. I'm going to pass the attendance list and then we can continue. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Because I don't really need to pass the attendance list. All right, give me a second. Just give me a second, people. I'm having some issues in here and I need to charge this computer. Nah, okay. There you go. I didn't find the charger of the computer, but now I got it. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Anna Clariel. Is it or not in here? Okay, I guess it's not here. Ana Maria? Present. Nah, okay. Good. Then we got Carlos Ademir. Present. Okay, nice. Eric Guillermo? Present, okay, perfect. Ever de Jesus. Present. Nice. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay, perfect. Hilmar Cruz. There you go, Jonathan Alexander. Present. Nice. Jorge Elver. Present. Okay. Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Nice. Margot Fernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Hernandez. Good. No Fernandez. Ah, no, I said Hernandez. Margot Hernandez. <laughs> es que lo dije rápido, no Fernandez. Margot Fernandez. Okay, good. Uh, Maritza Alcira. All right, she's not here, right? Uh, Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, good. Then we got Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, good. Rosa del Carmen. 
present. Okay. Ruth, Joanna. Present, teacher. All right. Sara Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay. Vanessa Oder. Present. Nice. William Alberto. Present. Okay. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. All right. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. All right, but she, I think she's not here. Okay, let's keep going. Where we were, okay. Who was missing? Let me check. All right, it was Natalie and Stephanie Rudy. And I don't know if you finished the exercises, uh, Natalie and Stephanie. Mm, yo hice uno, pero no sé si están buenos. Ok, <laughs> let's, let's, let's read it. Vaya, este, I was a law student. Fui I estudiante. Ajá, a ah. la, I was a law student. No, ok, all right. El otro es María was a co-worker. María was a co-worker. Very good. Yeah. He was a soccer player. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. There you go. Thank you, Natalie. I mean, she's no. more than one. Now, uh, Stephanie, let's read yours. Pues, yo solo hice dos, teacher. Ajá. Pero yo me basé en los demás ejemplos porque... <laughs> Vaya. Okay. All right. Ajá. Eh, una es, I, I was in the pizza last week. Uh -huh, okay, good. Y la otra es Caleb was in the mall yesterday. Okay, Caleb okay, was in the mall yesterday. There you go. Thank you, Nat, uh, Stephanie, in this case. And um, see you next. <laughs> nice, because I mean, since you got the cameras off, I tend to mistake. <laughs> Confuse you. And uh, Natalie, by the way, why do you have the camera off? I, 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 cayó a... el teléfono. I can see her. <laughs> Simplemente porque anda más arreglada ahora y no quiere ver. La van a gastar. Yo ya le dije que a veces también. Uh -huh. Yeah. I will see. I will see you both in module number four again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, uh, who else is missing besides they both? Mm, Jonathan has already participated. Uh, Margot, I don't know if you have already finished the examples. Margot, are you there? Okay, uh, she was uh, at the Radisson Hotel yesterday. Uh -huh. I was an instructor. An instructor or trainer? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. So remember, those are activities that you were supposed to do in the past that now you don't do. Okay. Those activities okay. started in the past and finished in the past. Si usted dice, ah, si un instructor o instructora. Esa fue una actividad que hizo en el pasado, pero que probablemente ya no eh, lo esté haciendo o ya no esté trabajando eh, como, como instructor o instructora, ¿ok? So, thank okay. you, Margot. Thank you. Ok, I think, you, I think you were the last one with this. So, let's move on. Ok, we were with the users of was. Now, when do we use where? Remember, in B, we got was and where. Where is used with you, we, they, and plural nouns. Okay? Plural nouns. Examples. Eric, 
to three. We were interested in the class. Ah, okay. We were interested in class. Ah, estuvimos interesados o estábamos interesados en la clase. That's the way how we can interpret this example. Second one, Jorge. You were in the city hall. Okay, you were in the city hall there, right? So what is city hall, Jorge? Hello? <laughs> Sorry. What is city hall? I lost in the moment. <laughs> uh -huh. Retour and the, we were interested in the class. <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh no but what is city hall you remember what is city hall city hall mm, is not the maybe the city in the town alcaldía ah, ah alcaldía eso yes that's <laughs> alcaldía thank you all right there you go okay next example jonathan Tell me a reading. They were happy during the ma ma marriage. Marriage. Ah, okay. Uh, Ellos fueron felices uh, durante su matrimonio. Okay. Right, you have <laughs> what? I know, Bernard. Is it is it is a joke? Maybe, maybe I just found out those those examples and I put them. Friction. I wrote them down there. Huh? Okay. It's okay. friction. Friction. <laughs> In prison. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fiction, fiction teacher. Ah, fiction. Okay, if you say so. The force is with you. <laughs> Ya le van a volar las cacerolas a, a, a Eric por ahí. <laughs> Estar diciendo eso. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like, you know, like when you're in a marriage, you tend to be happy or you're happy. Right? Okay, good. Now, next example. Check this out. Maria. I mean, Ana Maria. Yeah, Ana Maria. Help me out reading, Ana Maria. Maria and Marco were angry at the store. Were angry. Um, angry. Angry, yes. Okay, there you go. Check this out. Maria and Marco were angry at the store. En este caso, cuando mencionamos, listen, cuando mencionamos a dos personas, ya ahí estamos hablando, okay, de un plural. Okay, let's remember, in this case, ya no vamos a utilizar was. We are going to use were, okay? When referring to the past form of the verb be. Inclusive cuando decimos, por ejemplo, listen, listen. Uh, Fatima and I were in the class. In ese caso, hay muchos que se suelen equivocar que simplemente por el hecho de llevar I y solemos colocar am, que en este caso eh, no tiene nada que ver. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de la forma pasada, no de la forma presente. Ahora bien, a veces también sucede el caso de que solemos colocar was, solo porque llevamos hay. Pero debemos de prestar atención de que ahí ya estamos mencionando a dos personas. ¿Ok? An extra person and me. So in that case, Remember, in that case, is where, okay, not was, is where. Like in the example in here, Maria and Marco were angry at the store. Okay, good. What are we going to do in this case? Check this out. The only thing I want you to do in this case is just one, only one example. Y creo que con este tipo de ejemplos, no nos vamos a estar mucho eh, en cuanto a escritura. 
right? Just think about it, and when you got it in your head, let me know, okay? For example, listen, listen, listen. Jorge and Rosanna were in my class yesterday. Ah, Jorge and Rosanna estuvieron en mi clase anoche. You see? In that case, I am using where because I am representing a plural version, okay? From, from whom? From Jorge and Rosanna in this case, okay? When you have an example, just let me know. Remember, in that case, you can use you, we, they, or plural nouns. Okay. So let's let's start. Let's start. When you got the example, let me know. Only one example. Just one example, people. When you finish, just let me know, please. All right, do you finish? Yeah. No, okay, good. Eric, I'm gonna start with you. Read your example. Uh, you were in the supermarket yesterday. Okay, very good. You were in the supermarket yesterday? Okay, who else is finished? Okay, quien vaya terminando, like turn on your microphone and let me know your example. Okay, go for it, hold ahead. They were, uh, I don't know, meeting? It's a post meeting? They were in a meeting. Ah, in. They were in meeting today. Uh, today? No, en la tarde sería este. De... Uh, you can say today afternoon. Ese día por la tarde o esta tarde. Today afternoon. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Jorge. Who else has already finished? Me, no, teacher. teacher. <laughs> okay, first Carla and then Fatima. Okay. Uh, they were in love. They were in love. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Ay, estuvieron enamorados o estaban okay. enamorados. Okay, good. Fátima, thank you, Carla. <coughs> Fátima. Katia and Julio were in the soccer match. Ah, okay, very good. Me teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fátima. Now, Simmer. And they were very good people. <laughs> Okay, they were very good people. Okay. Me, teacher. Thank you, Hilmar. Okay, Sarah. Uh, we were at the beach. We were at the beach. Yes, yes. I do really need to go to the beach and take a rest in there. I do really need it. All right, thank Me, you, teacher. Sarah. All right, Nubia, go on. Andrea, Rodrigo, and I were in the cinema yesterday. No, okay, very good. Thank you. Who else has finished? Yo. All right, go. They were in the party. They were in the party, okay, very good. Thank you. Who else has finished? Uh, hi, um... Yo, teacher, and they were happy in the park. Ah, uh, okay. They were happy in the park. Ah. Thank you, Margaret. Fueron felices en el parque. O estaban felices en el parque. Okay, good. Who else has already finished? Me. All right. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Ana Maria? Porque solo está así como sacando la cabeza. That's funny. Okay, uh, read it. We were 
celebrate birthday yesterday. Mm, tenemos un verbo ahí, Ana María. En Entonces, caso. we were birthday yesterday. Uh, de hecho, we were in a birthday yesterday. Mm, es que siempre se me olvida en el, el in. <risa> ok, a ver. A ver, voltea a ver la cámara otra vez, así. ¿Cómo? <risa> se va a caer. Se va a caer. <risa> ok, thank you, Ana María. Uh, Rosa, you ya me gastó mucho, right. entonces ahora yo ya voy a tomar la, lo, de, lo de las compañeras que no quieren que la gasten, entonces solo mi pelo va a ver. <risa> solo mi silueta va lo, a ver. Lo que no sabes que ahí ella, allá van a aparecer otra vez en módulo 4 por gastarse mucho. <risa> Ay, Rosa. Don't qué malo, ya ve, ya ve, ya ve que es malo. Amenaza, esa es amenaza. Me siento Amen. amenazada. Llegar. <ríe> ok, all right. You feel threatened, ok. Yo me sé defender. Mm -hmm. Uy, ok. That was funny. Rosa, don't be angry, Rosa. Read your example. You were great in the party. Oh, obviously. All right. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> Good. Okay, Jonathan, do you finish? Yes. Okay. We, we were happy. Day six yesterday. We were happy? With six yesterday. With six women, with six, with a six pack or what? Six, <laughs> six pack. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying with six women or something like that. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. That was funny. Uh, Vanessa, do you finish? Yes, teacher. Nah, okay. Ready we for me? Were we were in the supermarket. Okay, very good. We were in the supermarket. There you go. Thank you. Jennifer, do you finish? Okay. Jennifer, are you there? Mm. It's sleeping. Uh -huh. Teacher, yo ya terminé, ya hice and dos ejemplos. Why, and that's why I don't suggest you to have the camera off. Natalie, go on. Ok. No, no me duermo, teacher, ¿qué le pasa? <risa> es que cosa que no ha sido. A que enciende la cámara, pues quiero verlo. Vaya, a ver. There you go. Uh -huh. Vaya, Juan y María were dating. Mm -hmm. Ese dating, ese dating, ese dating. Está mal. Digamos que es un verbo. Y si está un verbo ahí, uh -huh. entonces la oración ya no, ya no es pasado simple usando be, es pasado uh -huh. okay. Quiero ver a la Natalie y yo. Se y cortó el pelo, ¿qué se hizo? <risa> sí. ¿Se cortó el pelo? Sí, me lo corté. Yes, Ana María, yes. No la había visto. Es que me dio envidia, es que me dio envidia porque la había usted con cabello cortito. Pero a mí ya me está creciendo, ¿no? Porque lo tenía súper, súper corto. Yo también lo tenía súper largo, pero no, mucho cuesta, mucho tiempo quita estárselo arreglando, así que lo más fácil. Aparte que él no se baña, ¿ves? ¿Qué dice? No, ¿qué le pasa, Tichel? <risa> <risa> yo sí me baño. <risa> ah, pues yo creí que algo ahorraba. Ya me exhibió, ya me exhibió usted. Uh, <risa> Ay, no, si usted viera en la I'm mañana sorry. la nata. Uf. <risa> Destinando ahí. Bien, chupadita llega al trabajo. <risa> <risa> ok. 
Para que vea, teacher, que sí me baño. No, pues sí, sí se baña, entonces. Good, Vaya, good. El, yo hice dos, teacher. El okay. otro es... En ese, Natalie, en ese, en Ajá. ese donde tenía dating, simplemente Ajá. cambió, eh, usted tenía they were eh, dating, something like that, right? Entonces, ¿Sí? simplemente quitémosle dating y coloquémosle on a date. On a date. On a date. Exactly. En Ah, okay. ok. Y la otra que dice, teacher, es they were classmates. Ah, ok. That one is correct. They were classmates. Okay. Okay. Ellos fueron compañeros. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, who's missing? Carlos? Can you give me your example, Carlos? Yes. All right. You were at the beach last weekend. Last weekend. Ah, okay. You were in the beach or on the beach or at the beach? Uh, at the beach last weekend. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, uh, Carlos. Pedro, uh -huh. Pedro and Pablo were the same team. Ah, were in the same team. Okay. Okay, very in good. The same team. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Okay. Romeo. No, no tengo no Let's read your no example. No tiene problema. Juan y Juan. Pero ya, 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 O sea, uno dijo, no quisiera, uno dijo, quisiera ver de qué forma se queda ahí cerca, ayudar y todo, pero... No le veo, yo no le veo ningún, yo no le veo ningún problema ahorita, el único problema que yo le veo es de que ella anda jodiendo. Let it be free. Yes, y en pasado... Romeo. Es el libertinaje, no, el problema. <risa> Intenta, que todos bien callados ay no <risa> me da risa que todos nos okay. quedamos bien callados esperando oír el, todo el desenlace hey, final. Hey, hey Romeo we are waiting to, uh, for, to listen to you what's up ah, ahorita bro. <risa> no gusta el chamba no 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 <risa> ejemplo Casi dicho no. Yes, man, yes. Read it, read it. Pero vamos a, si, si vamos a eso, desde el inicio ya no lo Okay, I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to. Okay. <laughs> Romeo, continue. Juan and Pedro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Where to the beach? Where, where, uh, uh, on the beach or at the beach or in the beach, uh, Romeo, okay? Okay. There you go. Thank you, Romeo. Okay, good. Like right after this couple of examples, what are we gonna do? Listen, let's remember. Recordemos, cuando usamos las formas del verbo to be, podemos mencionar eh, en pasado, obviously, podemos mencionar inclusive profesiones que solíamos, okay, a uh, hacer o ocuparnos de en el pasado, que probablemente eh, ya no hacemos ahora, okay? For example, I can say, I was a student 10 years ago, okay? That was, you know, like um, an occupation in this case that I had. So, and that's why I use a was, okay? Another one, I was, what? In the university four years ago, okay? So in that case, that's an estate where I was for that exact time. So in that case, remember, when we use adjectives and when we use to mention directions or uh, locations, and when we mention professions or descriptions, we use the verb be. Entonces, para descripciones, ubicaciones, profesiones, okay, o ocupaciones que solemos tener, o que tenemos, pero hablamos de un evento en pasado, Solemos usar ya sea was o where, que son las dos funciones del verbo to be en pasado. Just keep that in mind. Otra cosa que quiero que siempre tengan presente es que 
no usamos un verbo que no sea was o were. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque entonces la oración se les puede tomar como errónea. Why? Porque entonces de ahí el verbo que ustedes pongan ya estaría obligado a estar con ing, ing. Y entonces ya no sería simple past with be, ya sería past progressive, que es pasado progresivo. Ok? Just keep that on, on, on mind. Now, let's continue. Now, let's start with something different. Let's start with simple past. Ahora bien, acá ya hablamos sobre el pasado simple. Acá sí podemos utilizar el verbo que nosotros querramos poner. Porque acá ya no estamos hablando con el verbo to be. ¿Ok? In here we are not discussing the verb to be anymore. And what can, can we say about the simple past? Check this out. Sara, help me out reading, please. We use the same state statements to tell about some, something, something that about something started that... in the past. Uh -huh. Started in the past. Started uh -huh. in the past. Yes, um, and finish in the past. Ah, okay. There you go. Listen, we use the simple past in affirmative statements to talk about something that started in the past and finished in the past. Algo que en realidad sucedió en el pasado y terminó en el pasado y en el presente ya no tiene relevancia, por así decirlo. Okay? It's not really relevant. What does it mean? It means that you can care or don't care about it. Examples. I ate pizza yesterday. What is the base form of the verb ate? Is eat. Entonces, ate es la forma pasada, okay, del verbo eat. I ate pizza yesterday. Like, comí pizza ayer. So you see, that's an action that you started in the past and finished in the past. Okay, there you go. Second example. Uh, let's see who else we can... Rosa. Yeah, I mean, Rosa now is like, it's like with energy, so happy. La siempre feliz Rosa. ¿De dónde? <laughs> I can see on your face. You worked extra hours last week. Ah, okay, good. You worked extra hours last week. Ah, trabajaste o trabajó horas extras la semana pasada. You see? In that case, we are talking about an activity that was developed last week and finished last week okay then we got another example for let's read Jorge, so sorry i'm talking my mom sorry ah okay uh, he went to school today. Okay, very good. Thank you. He went to school today. Ah, fue a la escuela ahora. So you see, why is an action in the past? Because probably he started the school in the morning and finished the school in the afternoon. But since you are at night, he finished with that activity. Okay? Algo, algo que tienen que saber del pasado simple, listen, en oraciones afirmativas, es que acá no le vamos a prestar atención al uso o si se tiene que modificar el verbo en singular o tercera persona. Acá es un solo verbo, ¿ok? For everything. For I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, we use the same form of the verb. Usamos la misma forma del verbo, ¿ok? Not like in the simple present, no como el presente simple. That you know that you have to put the S, the S, or I, E, S when it goes with singulars. In here, you don't have to pay attention to that. 
that's why we got the, those those examples over there okay like he went to school i can say i went to school i can say vanessa went to school all right and everything like that good next example hilmer let's read she played tennis huh? our our age age ball Okay, she played the tennis an hour ago. Ah, ella jugó tenis hace una hora. An hour ago. Una hora atrás. Una hora, okay. Yeah, like an hour ago. Hace una hora. Okay, let's put this. Let's remember, in this case, we're talking about simple past actions, okay? Only using affirmative statements. Let's continue with the last pair of examples. Uh, let me check. Jonathan, can you help me out reading this example? She made she wife six years ago. Ah, okay. He met his wife six years ago. What does it mean? Él conoció a su esposa hace seis años. Okay. There you go. So I can say, I met my wife one and a half years ago. Second example, Roxana. Let's read. Ah, me estoy durmiendo. I graduated. Uh, grad How do I graduated. Graduated from the universe. University. 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 <laughs> okay. I graduated from your university. Ah, me gradué de la universidad. Okay. There you go. Next. They watched a movie yesterday. Ah, ellos vieron una película ayer. You went to the bed early. Ah, se fue a dormir temprano. She studied in the library. Ella estudió en la. What is library? What is library, people? Librería. No. Biblioteca. Biblioteca. Yes, yes. Biblioteca. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice librería? Ah, se dice bookstore. Bookstore. Librería, eh, ok, es bookstore. Library is biblioteca. Remember, ok. There you go. Let's continue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Help me read in this example. Uh, <coughs> we made. A cake for you. Ah, okay. We made a cake for you. Okay. Hicimos un pastel para ti. There you go. Okay, people. Do we have any question with this structure? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta estructura? Let's remember. Acá lo único que tenemos que colocar es el verbo principal que indica la acción en pasado simple. And that's it. We will talk about actions in the past. Any question? Alguna duda? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? Hmm. No? Okay, cool. If you don't have any question, I'm going to stop sharing in here. Vamos a dejar de compartir acá. And let's go to the manual. Y vámonos al manual. Okay? Open up the manual in page 30. I think it is. Page 30, because we're going to focus uh, the most in here. Give me a second. I'm just putting this way. Okay. There you go. Okay, we got the pass of B in here, and we got the simple pass form in here. Check this out. This is just to make a short difference. It says, it was a great experience. Ah, fue una gran experiencia. 
Okay. Vanessa, let's read the second one. The agent was very helpful. Ah, okay. The agent was very helpful. El agente era bien, but it's helpful. What is helpful, people? Muy amable, algo así. Muy amable, okay. Right. Así. El agente fue de mucha ayuda en ese caso. Yes. Okay. There you go. Next example, uh, Ruth. Let's read. Okay. Uh huh, teacher. Uh, you were on our page. Okay, you were on our page. Thank you. Jennifer, are you there? Okay, no, I think she's not there. <laughs> Sarah, stop doing that. What you're told, uh, what you're doing, and read. Is that teacher? Ah? No, I mean, get distracted by reading the next example. Number? Number, last one. Yeah. We were? We were excited about... We were excited about service. Okay, we were excited about the service. Oh, we were excited about service, okay. Good. Ana Maria, let's read the simple past verse example. I gave my account information. Ah, okay. I gave my account information. There you go. Carlos. Carlos, he called. You? Okay. He called yesterday at night. Ah, okay. Thank you. He called yesterday at night. There you go, Jonathan. Let's read the next one. The program worked well. Ah, okay. The program worked well. El programa trabajó muy bien. There you go. And the last one, Ana Garcia. The, the ball that product last week. Nah, okay, thank you. They bought that product last week. Ah, ellos compraron ese producto la semana pasada. Okay, there you go. In here, people, in here, listen. As a model of finishing the, 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 the class, we are going to put this part. Listen up. What does it say? It says, write the sentences with the words provided using pass of B or simple test. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Simple y sencillamente. ¿Qué? Vamos a escribir las oraciones. Listen. Vamos a escribir oraciones. Okay. Usando el... El pasado simple y el pasado simple también del verbo to be. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo vamos a identificarlos? Porque ustedes ahí van a tener la palabra be. Cuando está la palabra be over there, recuerden, puede ser was o puede ser where. Pero no be así en forma base. ¿Ok? Example. In here you have... Acá ustedes tienen this way. Tenemos a alguien de esa rama. Jesus Christ. Ok, tenemos I, then we got B, interested product. ¿Cómo sería la oración? I was interested product. Check this out. I was interested in this product. Ok. 
Okay. Why do I have this part? Porque tengo esta, esta parte así. Ah, porque también le puedo agregar un pequeño complemento adicional para que la oración tenga más lógica. I was interested in this product. Estaba interesado en este producto. Okay. In this case, you can, you can put it this way. Let's do number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Okay. Let's go for it. When you finish, just let me know, please. Okay. Just let me know. Recuerden, cuando usamos el verbo to be, okay, cuando tenemos be, así como en la, en la primera, es cuando vamos a colocar was o were dependiendo del pronombre. In this case, en este caso, en la número dos, tiene el verbo by. ¿Cuál es la forma pasada del verbo by? Let's see if you remember. What is the past form of the verb by? ¿Cuál es la forma pasada del verbo by? Both. 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 Okay. How's the written form of it? Give me a second, I'm gonna put it. All right, check this out. Now, nah, who's checking the form? Okay. It says you, and then we go buy the item, the item December. How is the answer? Starting with you. What is next? Where? You were? Do both. Okay, why not where? Por qué no where? Porque no se nota Porque un verbo. verbo. Yes. En esta parte acá no tenemos la forma del verbo to be. Entonces, ¿qué estamos obligados a hacer? Que el verbo by se transforme en both. Ok. There you go. You bought the item on... December, ok, en este caso acá le podemos agregar on, ok, o incluso le podemos agregar in, and there's no problem in there, ok, good, let me see if you have finished number three, vamos a ver si la número tres, ok, es como la tienen, dice, she, and then we got read the policies, how is it in Spanish, como sería, ¿Cómo sería ya ordenada? Do you finish? Maybe she was with the police. No, no was, no was, porque acá was. no tenemos B. Ah, Entonces okay. sería, listen. Or she yeah. read the police's stories. Okay. All right, you said this, okay. She read the policies of the store. ¿Por qué read? Listen, porque el verbo read es un verbo irregular. ¿Por qué es considerado irregular? Porque este verbo, listen, este verbo no cambia su forma de escritura en presente, pasado y pasado participio. Lo único que sí cambia es la pronunciación. Listen. When you hear, listen, when you hear, in this case, this verb, okay, read, that's the simple present version. But in simple past, it's not read, it's read. Okay, like the color. Like the color, okay, read. Esa es la forma pasada del verbo read, okay. Se escriben lo mismo, pero se pronuncian di di diferente. 
Okay, you go. Now, next one. Let me see. We got the supervisor, then we got gave me a discount. Okay, the supervisor, listen up, gave me a discount. Is that correct? Está correcto tal y como está? Hello, is that correct? Yes, correct. The supervisor gave me a discount. Now, okay. The supervisor, right, gave me a discount. Okay, good. Let me check. Uh, Eric, help me read in this one, please. Number five. Okay, teacher, uh, they sent the contract to my email. They? Sent. Ah, okay, send. Uh, the contract to my email. The contract to my email. Okay, there you go, they sent the contract to my email. Okay, good. And the last one, Hilmar? Hilmar, let's read this one. I mean, Hilmar is not there. Okay, Natalie? Eh, ahí sería he Okay. Was is Ponte. Ah, okay. He was disappointed. There you go. Porque was. Ah, porque estamos usando un singular. Right? That's the reason why. Okay. So those are, or that was the activity that we had to do. Okay. This was the one that we had to do. I was interested in this product. All right, in that case, we use was. Uh, you bought the item in December, okay? Ya luego los verbos que no son parte del verbo to be, okay, or normal verbs, okay? Listen up, they have to go, we have to go in simple past, okay? Normal verbs, they have to go in simple past, all right? And remember, the verb be, it is divided into was and where. Okay. Any question? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Como usar be? Como usar la forma del verbo eh, en pasado? Obviously, I'm talking about, you know, a uh, simple past statement. So, any question? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? Okay, no. good. There you go. Listen, what are we going to do? Para mañana habla, habrá una class discussion. Okay, una discussion section en la plataforma. Voy a colocar, listen, voy a colocar unas scramble words. Quiero que ustedes okay, me respondan esas scramble words. Me las van a ordenar, okay, me van a ordenar las preguntas que van a aparecer ahí, okay. Y me van a responder esas preguntas, ¿ok? Me van a responder con oraciones afirmativas, ¿ok? Only with affirmative statements como estas que están acá. That's all we gotta do. Entonces, para mañana va a quedar esa uh, pequeña actividad de class discussion. En este caso, de, de platform discussion. Les voy a mandar la captura del tema al grupo, ¿ok? When I upload it. So you can identify them. Y es importante que ustedes pueden encontrar la discussion de la que les estoy hablando, okay? There you go. All right, before we go, people, I must stop sharing this presentation and then pass the attendance list. Just give me one second. Jorge Elver. 
Presente. Present. <laughs> Sorry. You were sleeping, man. Nah, nah, nah. I was, <laughs> I was, I was starting from the top. Ana Claribel. Ah, okay. I didn't listen to the word. Okay, Ana Maria. <laughs> you talk to me. <laughs> you talk to me in listening, <laughs> in leaping in you. Yes. No, the thing is that I I was listening, but it was like kind of far from it. Uh, I didn't go and see, so I was like, ah, let me start. Where? Present. Where is it? Pre present. <laughs> exactly. Good. Carlos Ademir. Okay. Present each. Okay, very good. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Nice. Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Good. Helmar Cruz. Present. Nice. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan. Okay, ah, uh, Jorge Elvir. Again. Antelación. Yes, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> present <laughs> again. <laughs> es que lo vi, lo vi distraído y así, like, you know? Oh, Walk okay. up. <laughs> okay. There you go. Ah, uh, Carla Benacer. Present. Okay, very good. Marita Alcira. No, here, right? Margot Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Let me check. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, very good. Then we got Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, perfect. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Excellent. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Okay, nice. William Alberto. All right, I think William has some issues with the internet. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. <coughs> Jennifer Noemi. Jennifer, are you there? Okay, good. I guess she fell asleep like last night. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Hey, where is where is my second present, Diana? Teacher, me conecté tarde. Ah, el segundo. Está dormida. Se me dormía el estudiante. Oh my god. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. Good. Okay, people. Uh, do we have any questions? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al tema que acabamos de ver? No? Ok, good. Let's remember, ok, for tomorrow, right after the class right now, actually today, or tonight in this case, I'm going to post it, ok, in the class, the, the discussion. In the platform, of course. Ok, now, uh, Carla, you're going to have the 10 minutes feedback today, so stay with me, ok, uh, after the class. Okay, you. For the rest, people, thank you for coming or assisting to the class from today, and let's see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Have a wonderful night. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, you bye. too, teacher. All right, bye-bye. Good, bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. You can go to sleep, to rest in peace. <laughs> ok todo, todo en la expectativa a ver si, si despierta Jennifer ustedes no van a hacer le va a pasar como la vez pasada que dice que, que a las tipo 5 de la media, mañana eh? ah, no, a las 10 y media 10 yeah, y media dije <laughs>
Good, good, good night. night. Good night, man. Bye bye. All right. Como Jennifer, eh, prácticamente no sé. No sé qué pasó. Ya, yeah, probably <laughs> she's sleeping. Permítame, voy a. I'm going to do something. There you go. Okay. Nice. All right, cool. Carla, we're going to have 10 minutes for you to tell me any doubts that you might have with this class and the previous classes or any question that you can, you know, like emerge from this hey. topic. I'm all mm. here. Okay, sería de este día, teacher. Ajá. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, eh, más que todo en el en el en el past. In the past. In the past, yes. But simple past or the past of B. Pass of B. Pass of B? Okay. Yes. Give me a second. Let's put this one. Because remember, we got B in simple present. But from B, in simple past, it's divided between was and where. Okay? Where is used with you, we, they, en plural nouns. Esto cuando le digo plural noun, me refiero, ok, a, a los nombres. nombres propios, ok, o cuando mencionamos una mujer en sí o nombre en sí. Ok. Ahí, ahí va. Entonces, was, cuando lo usamos, lo usamos con he, she, it, ok, and singular. Oh. Singular now. Singular, okay. All right, good. So, how do we divide them in this case? Take this out. Okay. Ah, this is using what as with I too. Was I. Okay, example. I was. In the party last night. Okay, you were in the in, right in the you say in the party. I was okay. You were uh, you were take this out. You were. You were in the house. Okay, tenemos. He was okay, a good student. Ah, él fue un buen estudiante. She was okay. a smart girl. She was a smart girl. Ah, ella era una chica inteligente. He was a yes. O listo, en este caso. He was mm -hmm. a good student. Ah, él era un buen estudiante. You see, entonces, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que prestar atención, Carla, en este tipo de ejemplos? Que si solo tenemos, mire, was, was, where, ok, was. Acá, ¿qué sucede? Que acá sucede que con he, con she, con it y con un nombre propio, como por uh -huh. ejemplo su nombre, Carla, podemos usar was, ok, solamente was. Otra cosa. No lleva un verbo adicional. Acá no lleva ningún otro verbo porque entonces la oración ya no sería en pasado. Es incluso en pasado. Exacto. Si yo pongo, mire, she was wearing 
a hat. She was wearing a hat. Ah, ella está usando un sombrero. En este caso, no puede ser la forma pasada. Listen, no puede ser, ok, la forma pasada eh, simple, por así decirlo, del verbo to be. ¿Por qué? Porque acá ya tenemos otro verbo y está ahí. Dentro. Entonces, okay. toda la estructura se le conoce como present con... continuo or progressive. Continuous oh, okay. All right. Present continuous or progressive. This action. She was wearing a hat. Entonces, teacher, cuando hablamos en pasado, eh, no debe de llevar verbos, ¿cierto? Exacto. Acá no, lleve, no debe de llevar verbos siempre y cuando usemos el verbo to be, ¿ok? Ya sea was uh -huh. o were. Entonces, no puede llevar un verbo adicional porque entonces la oración ya no sería pasado simple de be, sino que pasado eh, progresivo. That's okay. completely different. Y ahí pues ya es completamente diferente, ¿ok? There you go. Ahora bien, cuando usar where? Ah, where lo usamos después de you, we, they, and plural nouns. Example. Carla and Carlos are in the class, yes. Okay, Carla and Carlos are in the class yet. Listen, esta es una oración en presente simple. Ahora bien, ¿cómo voy a transformar esta oración, Carla, en pasado simple? Ok, usando el formal verbo to be. Ah, easy. Carla and Carlos were. ¿Por qué were? Porque were es la forma pasada del verbo are. Ah. Ok, de la forma del verbo to be are. Ok, so por eso decíamos Carla y Carlos were in the class. Yes. 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 Carla y Carlos fueron en la clase yesterday. Ah, Carly y Carlos estuvieron en la clase ayer. You see? Ahí ya clase. es presente. Pasado simple. Perdón, pasado, pasado simple, sí. Yes, yes. La anterior, esta, esta es presente. Esta, para identificar. Sí, es presente simple. Exacto, para darle a conocer que are es la forma presente simple. De <risa> where, que es el pasado. Uh -huh. y, ahí llegó. Y, y en uno en una oración teacher eh, puede ir así como en el ejemplo que está en el en el en el manual que we be puede puede ir en una oración no, en ese caso en ese caso we solo es para formularla we y luego tenemos el, el verbo be pero es que el verbo be es la forma base del verbo entonces okay. recuerde de la forma base dependen las derivaciones que van con cada su, eh, pronombre, en este caso, o nombre propio. Okay. Si voy a mencionarme a mí mismo, la forma del verbo to be que voy a usar es am. Si yo la voy a usar a usted con otra, con otra persona, si voy a hablar de usted con otra persona, yo voy a decir Carla is. Entonces voy a usar la forma del verbo to be is. Ok, Is, porque okay. es solo una, ok, y porque es singular, right? Ok. Y es ya en, para ellos en plural, entonces es where. Perfect. Um, sure. eh, una, una pregunta, eh, aquí en was y where se puede utilizar también did. Which one? Did. What do you mean by did? De id. Eh, creo que eso significa como que hice. Ah, did, this one? Did, yes, did. Ah, mm -hmm. estas solo se utilizan para preguntas en pasado simple con verbos normales, regulares o irregulares. 
Okay. Example, example. Listen. Did you do your homework? Did you do your homework? Ah, hiciste tu tarea? Yes, I did. Right. Oh, no, yes, I, I didn't. didn't. Yes. Ajá, or no, I didn't. Pero esto que oh, probablemente okay. lo podamos ver más adelante. Ahorita ah, lo okay. tenemos, ok, este, preguntas con yes, no answer. Pero esto creo que lo vamos okay. a ver más adelante. Ok, entonces ah, okay. Acá, en lo que nos habíamos enfocado acá, simplemente era en las formas pasadas del verbo be y recordar que si tenemos, por ejemplo, el verbo eat, en pasado es ate. Si tenemos el verbo read, en pasado se escribe lo mismo, pero se pronuncia red. Red, sí. Ok, si tenemos... Let me see. Uh, play. Okay. En simple past es played. Ok. Bien, entonces, ¿con cuáles son los que vamos a usar en las oraciones? Ah, con eight, read, and played. Okay. Example. She ate. Lasaña. Last week. She ate a lasaña last week. Ah, ella se comió una lasaña la semana pasada. Okay. Entonces ahí, right. ya estamos hablando del pasado simple, de los verbos, o estamos hablando del verbo pasado simple, ok. Ya, sí, okay. la forma del verbo to be, que sería was and were. All right, good. ¿Algo más que agregar a, 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 a esto acá, Carla? ¿Algo que quiera mencionar? ¿O algo que quiera preguntar? No, teacher. Ok. All right. Eh, with you, I haven't had any, any problem with the platform, right? So continue that way. Usted no ha tenido ningún tipo de dificultades con lo de la plataforma, así que espero que continuemos de la misma manera. Ok. Ok, teacher. Te digo, ¿alguna otra pregunta, Carla? Para hacer eso. Mm, no, teacher, solamente. Ah, ok, Carla. All right, let's stop sharing. Okay, Carla, so let's see you tomorrow no? in the last video conference of the week. Okay? Okay. There's no other question. Bye-bye, Carla. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.